I'm standing at Nine Mile and Jefferson in front of our Chapaton pump station. This is a pump station that has been here since the 60s. And during all of those decades, uh, for many years, uh, this pump station, which handles combined sewer overflows from the cities of East Point and most of St. Clair Shores, has been discharging, as we call them, CSOs, combined sewer overflows, out into Lake St. Clair. They're treated. We have a permit from the state to do what we've been doing. But guess what? We can't keep doing this. <laughs> and as much as we discharge, Oakland County discharges five times more than we do. Wayne County, their numbers are off the charts. So one of the things that we want to focus on always here at the Macomb County Public Works Department is water quality. Water quality equals quality of life. And by the way, this is our drinking water supply for millions of people. So we just can't keep pushing this generationally onto the next generation. Uh, we have to have the political will to do what we need to do to invest in our infrastructure so we stop doing this. Last year, we had a proposal that would have reduced the CSOs that we discharge from this station by almost 80%. The state of Michigan, Department of the Environment, the Whitmer administration, denied us a permit to do what we wanted to do, a project here. So we went back to the drawing board. We did a lot of value engineering. And actually what we've done right now is we've done a number of operational changes uh, to this uh, pump station. And it has resulted in almost a 30% decrease. So we have now reduced the amount of CSOs that we're discharging out into the lake by about 30%. And that is a tremendous <laughs> step forward. Obviously, we still have a lot of steps to go. But we're going to keep working at this thing. We have some other ideas in mind that are going to also help us reduce some of the CSOs that we discharge here at Chapaton. And uh, we were very distressed last year, as I say, when, uh, when we were denied our permit. And you know, interestingly enough, what the uh, regulators told us is, look, you're permitted to do what you're doing. You're treating it. It's meeting the standards that we have. What's, why, why do you want to improve? I'm not kidding, that's what they said. Why do you want to improve? What we said is, the largest room is the room for improvement. We can improve, and in Macomb County, we are committed to water quality. So we're gonna keep working at this, but I wanted to announce today that what we've done with some operational changes here is we now have reduced, by our estimates, between 25 to 30 percent. So that's, you know, it's a fourth, right? It's a quarter of what we do. Of course, it depends on the year. It depends on the amount of precipitation we get. Some years, in a, in a, uh, we don't have a lot of rain events, uh, it'll be more. Other years, when we have a lot of rain events, it might not be as much. So it depends. But generally speaking, it's about 30 percent. And what happens here, of course, these are older communities. This is true all over. In the older communities, they have combined systems. So their sanitary sewer and their storm systems are combined. And obviously, in a very heavy rain event or during a, you know, a lot of snow melt or what have you, the underground infrastructure can't handle it. And so all of that uh, comes down here combined. Uh, we try to store as much as we can. We have a 30 million gallon retention basin here. So I'm standing on our uh, retention storage gates here at Chapaton, Nine Mile and Jefferson Pump Station. And if you look this way, we can pan this way, what you're looking at here is an area where we do uh, store uh, so that we again uh, make sure things are treated properly uh, before we discharge out into the lake. This is an area that uh, we're going to be uh, rehabbing uh, in the near future. We're looking at a big uh, rehabilitation project here that will probably help us uh, with operational uh, types of issues as well. That's, that's our hope. Then, if I can have my video, videographer, which is just using his, his iPhone, <laughs> since we do things on the cheap here at Public Works. Uh, if you're, now you're looking out this way, on the other side of the gate, you're looking right out into Lake St. Clair. And this is, uh, this is a discharge canal, really. Uh, but any, any uh, discharge that we put into this canal has been totally treated. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, you know, it meets all clean water standards. 
So there's nothing uh, to be, no kind of contaminant in there that you would be concerned of. In fact, you can see people are fishing. Got a bunch of fishing boats going out today and uh, people shore fishing here. And then we have a boat launch down here. It's a very, very busy boat launch. So um, this is, uh, this is uh, the canal that runs here. Just, uh, this is sort of an old man-made canal uh, and uh, it's been here for a number of years. So here you can see the discharge canal that runs from our gates from the Chapaton pump station. Runs all the way down along here between us and uh, Shore Club uh, Towers. And uh, of course we always take uh, care to make sure that anything that's in there has got no contaminants at all. So there's no odor, there's no problem at all. People fish in there, uh, etc. But uh, I just want to show you the scope of this. And let me uh, just walk over here so you can see this is the end of our canal over here where a videographer can pan that a little bit. We, we could get a little bit closer, but in full transparency, there are a couple of nests of geese there. And I'm not arguing with these aggressive mother geese today, okay? So that's as close as we're getting. <laughs> you just have to be able to see what you can see. <laughs> anyway, here you can see uh, the lake. And then, of course, comes out into Lake St. Clair which by the way, is one of the, uh, I don't know if it's the best, but certainly one of the best smallmouth bass fishing lakes in the entire country. We watched a whole bunch of bass boats come out today, so I think they're having a, a bass fishing tournament or something's going on, because there's a whole bunch of bass fishermen. There's one right out there, they're, they're all over out here. And uh, some of the uh, people that are doing their shore fishing have said they're catching bass here, so they, they gotta be running. Anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful location, right? And there's nothing more magnificent than our magnificent Great Lakes, which is why we have to, all of us, be great stewards of our environment and do everything that we can do to improve our water quality. And continuing to discharge combined sewer overflows, no matter how great they've been treated, is not the best posture for us. It's not necessary. Uh, we just have to have the political will, which we do in Macomb County, uh, and then we have to put some resources behind it to, uh, to stop doing this kind of a thing. So at the Public Works Office, we're working on this each and every day.